Are you ready? Yeah, I am. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to start building our dome. All the materials are here. We've got everything prepped and ready to go. And so all that's left is to start. Let's do it. I don't know what we've gotten ourselves into, but we're going to give it a go. We have to lose. This is the last time our foundation is going to be empty like this. I'm all right with that. We do have a book, a manual. I hope it's well written. <laughs> it's written. It has pictures. Uh, I like pictures. I like pictures. Ready to get everything out, get it started? Yeah. This is a big deal. Yeah. Time to build a dome. Do -do 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 -do. We should mention one more small detail. We're not builders. No. <laughs> We're just regular folk. I, I'm, uh, my expertise is in uh, YouTube University. I have a degree there. <laughs> that being said, we have built other things, including we've built this metal garage. So that counts, right? I'd say so. <laughs> oh, this is going to be interesting. Oh, yes. Here we go. Time for the unveiling. Let's get this tarp off and get going. Okay. In behind door number one. <laughs> Another tarp. A brand new reservoir. <laughs> Our toad friend was still living in the tarps. Eating bugs. Here are the riser walls. The first building materials going up on the dome. We are figuring out which riser, go well, riser wall goes where. And each one of them is numbered. See? So that's riser wall number one. And we're identifying, we're identifying where number one goes. And so number one goes here and it looks like it works its way around. And there are nine of them and we have found nine. So I think that makes sense, right? Before we set these riser walls in place, there is one task that we need to complete, right? Yep. That is a gasket seal if I have that correct. Yes. NSD, Natural Spaces Domes, sent us this pink stuff to use along the bottom to form the seal and the barrier between the concrete and the wood. But we've decided to go with something a little bit different, a little more heavy duty. Yes. Why, why did you choose this, Bry? This stuff is your standard Standard, everybody uses it. And <laughs> we never go normal, do we? We don't, we don't do that. So this is not nearly as good of a seal as this is. This is, I, th I think it's either a quarter inch or an, a half an inch uh, of a, a, a gap um, to keep air and bugs and all that stuff from coming in. Whereas this is like, I don't know, an eighth of an inch maybe. Okay, so that gives us a little bit better protection and a little more wiggle room for any imperfections that we have in our concrete. Well said. <laughs> Thanks. In 10 seconds as compared to my 50. <laughs> our very first riser wall is upright and ready to be placed. Right there. We're starting to build our house. And on this momentous occasion, we have placed number one, actually number six, riser wall in place. It's beautiful. But is it correct? <laughs> How will we know? We won't until later. These little dollies are going to come in handy, I think. Yes, they're going to get heavily used. Yeah, that for sure helped. Here we go, setting in riser wall number two. I really like that these things are numbered. Is this number two? Yeah. Number two. Actually number two. Yes. I don't see how that's going to straighten up. Yeah, maybe not. <laughs> I think we need to finagle this, straighten it out a little bit more. We put up this second riser well next to the other one, and we're trying to lock them together, and we're having trouble getting the pin in, but we'll keep at it. 
attempt number two, three. Something or other. Okay, now I got it. So I put Six. the pin, pin in um, uh, 180 degrees wrong. Oh, because it's pointy at the end here. Yep. At first, I had to go opposite direction so that I could get it into here, into this section. And then once I got past that part, I rotated it around with a wrench. So now it's pointed this way. So I can pull the, the bolt back and now I can top it in. It's a pretty tight fit. So I'm pretty sure that's why they have them pointed like that. Yep. It's just to edge it in. Yep, so I can get it from the rest of here now by hammering it in. Okay. I don't have this angle. I thought this was gonna go easy. <laughs> Nothing goes Nothing easy. Nothing goes easy. Not for us anyway. <laughs> Good. Once that pin is in, these two are now inextricably joined together. For life. <laughs> They're married. We're getting ready to place riser wall number seven. And it's just our luck that this one is our sink drain, which is right there. Yep. So it goes inside the wall, which is supposed to do. Unfortunately, it goes also right through that piece of plywood that just happens to be there. I hope these uh, riser walls are up before it really starts snowing. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely snowing right now. <laughs> okay, back in business. Yep. We've made a really good start. We've got four of the riser walls up. One more is ready. And so that means we have four more to go to prep and put up. We have a ways to go, but look at this. That means we've started. We managed to get that stack out from the, under the lean-to. And I don't think we dented anything. Here is riser wall number one. We still have to put the gasket on the bottom. Going into place. First one we've ever put in. Number one, right? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Just ignore numbers four, five, six, and seven. We go in order. <laughs> this one is a little bit different than the others. It looks like it's only half as thick. However, that's because we have windows. We have outside. windows. Here is the goal when putting together these riser walls. Hopefully they will slide together really nicely. <laughs> and this black part of the bracket will slide into this hub so that we can then take the pin and, and uh, bang it through here to tighten it all up nice and tight. Yep, that's their interlocking hub system. It's really pretty elegant you think this one will bang together nice and easy i do actually Ooh, i hope you're right this one should be pretty simple so that's this is pretty much the heart and soul of the dome system is you connect these brackets with these hubs and then connect them with these big ginormous pins yep and once those are in this gets nice and tight and it also enforces the math so that you get your nice angles exactly how they're supposed to be. Yep, they don't back out unless you really pull on them. So they're good, uh, they're good and strong. They're, I can't remember what they said, grade six bolts or five bolts, I can't remember, but they're. they're I don't know what that means, but I'm, I'm guessing that means they're pretty strong. They're strong. We are getting our money's worth from our surveyor work, right? Pins for the win. Hooray. What do you mean by that? So we had, hired a surveyor to come out and pin all the corners of the dome. All those pretty pink little flags. Yep, they've lasted this entire time. And this is the center line for our, where the corner should be. And it is lined up nice to the pin. And we have to do that and be really careful because as with any structure, you gotta be precise on the bottom because otherwise, 
Every, the higher you go, the worse your little mistakes get. So you have, they said we have to be no more than a half an inch off on all of our corner placements. Yep. So that's what we're going for. Yep. There's a shot of this riser wall opened up where our future window is going to be. Can you see it yet? We're following the instructions and it said to remove this plywood. So I'm gonna. <laughs> it says remove and it said it on the other one as well. We thought it was because there was going to be a window underneath there that we were removing this plywood, but we don't have a window in this location. So maybe it's because there's a window on top of it. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sure there's a reason for it. I just don't know what. They're, they're the smart ones, so we're going to follow those instructions. I'm, I'm going with what they, they've recommended. So. I mean, worst case scenario, we can always put it back, right? Yeah. It's, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> okay. Here we go with riser wall number nine. It's actually only the eighth one in the order that we're putting ours up. We're getting close. We're having a little trouble getting this riser wall to connect to the existing one. So you came up with a bit of an idea. What yep. are you doing? I'm gonna use a strap to pull this guy into here. And this is happening because we had to take the plywood out. So the plywood actually really keeps these things rigid. So we angled it in to be able to get it into that one. Well, yeah. <laughs> that made it harder to get it into this yeah. one in. What goes up must come down is kind of the same with what goes left must come right. All right, so you getting ready to ratchet it and see if we can make this work? Yep. That is working nicely. Look at that. We've got four in a row here now. You could say we have four walls. Oh my gosh. That is really starting to look really neat. This is our ninth riser wall going into place. Right. This is going to be the rest of the living room? Yes. Good think there. And check this out. So this is our living room and the windows will be right there and that's going to be the view from our living room. I like it. <laughs> yeah, me too. The strap worked really well last time so we're trying it again because this one didn't slot right in super easily. Ready? Oops. Is it going to work? Yep. Oh yeah, look at that pull into place. So nice. Yeah, it worked really, really well. Yeah, it did. We should have been doing this the whole time. Yeah, it just takes a couple times to figure things out. Yeah, that was, that was good. I refuse to ride the struggle bus. So says Brian. Arr. There you go, you got it. professional uses a hammer with both hands. <laughs> Let's go with that. We did it. Yes. The riser walls are up. Took a look. Took us, what, three days? <laughs> we got nine of them up. <laughs> nine riser walls, yes. Yep. What do you think? Honestly, when, when it was just concrete, it almost felt like, my God, this is going to be so small. And it's supposed to be, what was it, like 2,300 square feet? It's, it's going to be tiny. But now with the actual walls in, it actually kind of feels spacious. I cannot tell you enough how exciting this is. Looking forward to it. Yeah. That'll do it for the riser wall assembly. Up next is the filling in of all the gaps where the riser walls aren't and um, yeah. struts. The ex well, the no. No? not struts. No? Don't talk about that yet. Oh, okay. Did I stop this one? Yes. Coming up next, we'll address the extension openings. Yep. And until we do... 
<laughs> Damn it, you got your part. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, we'd really appreciate it if you would take a second and subscribe to our channel. Thanks. And until next time, like our farm sign says, just keep growing.